oceans white with foam Gabalas America Can I get a round of applause for that in here? Come on. That is not easy to do. Country music superstar and former American Idol contestant Kelly Pickler there belting out God Bless America last night during baseball's All-Star Game in Kansas City. And wow, I mean, she was just amazing. We're thrilled that the amazing Kelly Pickler is here with us tonight on Showbiz Tonight. America first fell in love with the amazing Kelly Pickler when she was on American Idol. That was all the way back in 2006. Since then, she has become a country music superstar. So with all of the speculation going on lately about all the new American Idol judges that could be coming around. I wonder if Kelly would ever consider being a judge. Joining me in New York for the Showbiz Newsmaker interview, Kelly Pickler, who's had a, busy, a very busy time, among other things, working on a very important campaign with ConAgra Foods to make sure children do not go, go hungry. It is called Hunger Free Summer. Great to see you. Good to see and you. And wow, you nailed it last night. Oh, and, gosh, and thank we were you. just talking a moment ago about how tough that is. And uh, there's another country singer who kind of had a tough time with it, or he's been getting really? a tough time today. Yeah, well, you know, uh, Luke Bryan uh -huh. sang the Star Spangled Banner him. at the Good other All-Star game, but today he's had to respond to his critics. We're looking at him right here. For what? He had to check his hand for a couple of the lyrics uh, during the song. He had written down a few key words from the lyrics, and people have been kind of going after him today. He apologized. He said it, it was still from the heart. Oh, I, yeah. Do you think it's unfairly unfair to criticize him? Because he says he just didn't want to mess up. You know how hard that oh, is. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, regardless of what you do, people are always going to be, there's always going to be people pulling for you, and there's always going to be those people that are just mean. And Luke is a really great guy, and he... I mean, I, I didn't realize that. I was sitting up in the stands watching, so I couldn't, I couldn't see. I could just hear. But I, um, that's a hard song to sing, and there's a lot of people there. And, you know, a lot of times the people that are being bullies and picking at, at whoever, they wouldn't be out there doing that. Now, have you ever you know, written lyrics on your hand, though? I mean, that, that's, I mean, I was surprised to hear that. I'm happy he did. I would do that if it would help me in yeah. a high-pressure situation. But Well, they've, um, I, I've never written the lyrics on my hands, but, I, you know, I know that there's teleprompters and right. stuff at, you know, different sporting events for, I mean, people that sing the people anthem should or cut whatever. Him a break. But, yeah, he's a great guy, and so what? <laughs> yeah, so you know what? what? He's All a right. really great guy, and... He sung his butt off, and, and it was all about the game and, and having a good time. And, and uh, so people just need to quit being so, just quit being so bully. You Don't know? be a bully. Don't be mean. Just be nice. Well, let's talk about another game that's going on. People are making sport over talking about who's going to be a new judge on American Idol. Should they again? be bringing new judges in? Wait, yeah. Okay. See, I'm so no, out no, of the no, loop. Okay. They don't have, you know, I it's not a done deal that J-Lo's going to come back. It's not a done deal that Steven Tyler's going to come back. Oh, so really? names okay. are being thrown around. Oh. Adam Lambert's actually one of the key names oh. that's being tossed around I right now. I, I think he'd be terrific, but oh, you yeah. are a former Idol contestant. I do not uh, want to like be said, a judge. No, it's not for you. <laughs> no. I, look, all I've ever wanted to do is live on a tour bus and be a country singer. All I want to do is sing my song, so I don't want to tell anybody else what to sing. I don't want to tell anybody else what to do. I just want to do my thing right. and sing my song. Well, we've talked about before what a great launching pad Idol was for you and your amazing career that you, you're now having. But there is one particular singer, or it's not singer, but an artist who is not a big fan of the reality singing shows, and, and that is the legendary former Guns N' Roses guitarist Slash. Now, Showbiz Night was I right love, there I with love. Slash. Your fan? Oh, yeah. Well, I read wait, his let book me tell you what he has to say about shows like American Idol because oh. he's been asked to do these reality singing shows before. And he says he won't do them, and here's why. I don't relate to it, and I'd hate to have to use it as a stepping stone to be able to get where I want to go, you know? So I, I avoid it at all costs. So for younger people, it seems like the, the, the you know, the golden, you know, road to success and so on, but it comes at a huge price because you give up all sense of integrity and you're at the mercy of the producers. I mean, would you agree with that? Did, did you ever feel like you had to give up all your control to the producers? Um, well, I mean, first of all, to be able to be a part of that show, for, and I speak for myself, first of all, I love Slash. I've always been a big fan, and I read his book, a huge fan. But I, I can only speak for myself. I cannot complain about it, because I look at where I came from, 
and what that stage, where that stage got me today. Yeah. And I only have great things to say about my experience with the show. They were very good to me. Um, I built some beautiful friendships on the show. Catherine McPhee was my roommate. I love her. She's doing great now with her new show. Um, and, you know, I, I can't say anything bad about it, to be honest. It's worked but that's for you. Just, I can't complain about my experience. Right.